Has there reached you the report of the overwhelming event? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل أتاك حديث الغاشية Has there come to you the story of the enveloper, the overwhelming غاشية, the day, you know, which will cover all mankind the day of resurrection وجوه يومئذ خاشعة Some faces that day will be humbled Many faces on that day shall be downcast. Working hard and exhausted. Laboring and tired, exhausted. They will enter to burn in an intensely hot fire. Tasla Naran Hamia Entering into the scorching fire. Tuskamin Ainin Ania. They will be given drink from a boiling spring. Tuskamin Ainin Ania. Made to drink from a boiling fountain. A fountain of boiling water. لَيْسَ لَهُمْ طَعَامٌ إِلَّا مِنْ ضَرِيعٌ For them there will be no food except from a poisonous thorny plant. لَيْسَ لَهُمْ طَعَامٌ إِلَّا مِنْ ضَرِيعٌ They will have no food except bitter thorns. لَا يُسْمِنُ وَلَا يُغْنِي مِنْ جُوعٌ Which neither nourishes nor avails against hunger. لا يسمن ولا يغني من جوع Neither nourishing nor satisfying the hunger وجوه يومئذ ناعمة Other faces that day will show pleasure وجوه يومئذ ناعمة On the contrary Many faces on that day shall be delighted لسعيها راضية. With their effort, they are satisfied. لسعيها راضية. They'll be very much pleased with the results of their endeavors. When they will see the result that they are going to get for whatever the they did in the past life, they'll be pleased with it. In an elevated garden. In a very high garden. Wherein they will hear no unsuitable speech. They will not hear there even any vain talk. A cultured person doesn't like to even listen to gossips and vain talks. Within it is a flowing spring. In that there is a flowing fountain. Within it are couches raised high. فِيهَا سُرُرٌ مَرْفُوعًا There are raised couches. وَأَكْوَابٌ مَوْضُوعًا And cups put in place. وَأَكْوَابٌ مَوْضُوعًا And goblets arranged in order. وَنَمَارِقُ مَصْفُوفًا And cushions lined up. وَنَمَارِقُ مَصْفُوفًا and cushions set in rows. And carpets spread around. 
and carpets spread out. Then do they not look at the camels, how they are created? So, do they not look at the camels, how they are created? All these creations are signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And for the Arabs, you know, these four things, they were mostly before their eyes. They kept traveling, and when they traveled, they used to be on the horses, on the backs of the camels. Under them is the earth, over them the sky, and to right or left of them the mountains. Because this Hijaz, you know, is a mountainous country. So the journey used to be in the valleys. Valley is between two mountains. To the right of them, mountain. To the left of them, mountain. So these four things especially, they are mentioned here. أَفَلَا يَنْزُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبِلِ كَيْفَ خُلِقَتْ So, do they not look at the camel? How they are created? How they are fitting with the environment? their bodies, their physiology, absolutely suits the environment in which it has to live. And at the sky, how it is raised. And to the heaven, how it is raised high. وَإِلَى الْجِبَالِ كَيْفَ نُصِبَتْ And at the mountains, how they are erected. وَإِلَى الْجِبَالِ كَيْفَ نُصِبَتْ And to the mountains to their left and right, how they have been fixed. وَإِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَيْفَ سُطِحَتْ And at the earth, how it is spread out. وَإِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَيْفَ سُطِحَتْ And to the earth, Believe them, how it has been spread out. So remind, O Muhammad, you are only a reminder. So Muhammad you go on admonishing them, reminding them. Inviting them to see all these signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These signs are everywhere in the universe. Wafi and fusikum. And even within yourselves. Fazakir. So you go on reminding them, go on admonishing them. Lasta alayhim bi musaytil. You are not over them a controller. Lasta alayhim bi musaytil. You are not a warder over them. You are not responsible for them. Your function is to convey the message and to admonish them. Now, this point, I think, must be cleared. That the two levels are different. At the individual level, no man has ever been compelled to accept Islam and will never be compelled to accept Islam. Like Rahafiddin, Qab Tabayyan Rushtu Min Al Ghayy. Individuals, this is the rule. But the system, for that, the rule is absolutely converse. If the believers have power and they let the system of falsehood remain, then they are not loyal to the truth. If they have power, they have to uproot the wrong system and establish the deen of Allah, which is the just system of life. If don't, they don't have power, okay, then they have to continue the effort to get that power. The dawa, the training, the organization, all that, what for? So that you have that power, you have that strength with which you can change the system. So for changing the system, power has to be used. And we shall apply caution. If we have power, we shall use it. But not for compelling any individual to accept Islam as a Muslim. 
فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ So you go on reminding them and admonishing them. لَسْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِمُسَيْتِرْ You are not a warder over them. إِلَّا مَنْ تَوَلَّا وَكَفَرْ However, he who turns away and disbelieves. إِلَّا مَنْ تَوَلَّا وَكَفَرْ But whosoever turns back and disbelieves. فَيُعَذِّبُهُ اللَّهُ الْعَذَابَ الْأَكْبَرْ Then Allah will punish him with the greatest punishment. فَيُعَذِّبُهُ اللَّهُ الْعَذَابَ الْأَكْبَرْ Then Allah will chastise him with the greatest chastisement. Why greatest? Because Muhammad is the greatest scholar towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the greatest prophet of Allah, greatest messenger of Allah. Quran is the last and the greatest word of Allah. Now even if all these things they don't believe, so they deserve the greatest punishment. Indeed, to us is their return. Inna ilayna iyabahum, verily, to us is their return. They can't go anywhere else. They have to come to us. ثُمَّ إِنَّ عَلَيْنَا حِسَابَهُمْ Then indeed, upon us is their account. ثُمَّ إِنَّ عَلَيْنَا حِسَابَهُمْ Then, on us, upon us, is their accounting and reckoning. It's our duty to tell them, this is your account. This is the credit, this is the discredit. Here also you saw, فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ And because the sermon of Juma is for tazkir. There is a hadith in the Sahih of Imam Muslim, رَحِمَهُ اللَّهِ كَانَ لِلنَّبِيَّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ سَلَّمْ خُطْبَتَان For the Prophet there were two khutbas, just as we have today, all the Imams, Khatibs, two khutbas, they sit in between them. يَجْلِ سُبَيْنَهُمَا Used to sit and for some time between the two. كَانَ يَقْرَوْ آيَاتِ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ وَيُذَكِّرُ النَّاسِ And this was the subject of khutbah. That he used to recite the ayat of Qur'an and remind people. So this sermon of Juma is actually to remind people. And as I explained when we were reading Surah Al-Juma, actually this is the weekly meeting of Hezbollah the party of Allah, which is to strive to establish the deen of Allah on earth. And for that purpose, they must keep fresh in their minds the ideology of Islam. If this ideology becomes dim, then you know the, their motivation will decrease. Their commitment will decrease. So refresh the ideology, refresh the ideology. The basic thought the basic ideology, it must be refreshed every week.